So it's all to explain the Maila of the Achtos, the Achtos, the unity engendered Rosh Hashanah, Dafka through the Avrod of Shira Malis, Mima Makim. Fill in, this, fill in the sentence. A greater unity than even what? That's the whole Chiddush is explained here. Greater even then, and you wouldn't think so, but it is so. What? what? Yeah, yeah, thank you. I just need to... Maybe the, uh... I, is there any napkins? Soft kiss about the... Tisha box will do. Greater even than what? Huh? Yeah, true. But the the Maimed is is elaborating on another contrast at great length. Anybody? Just glance at the Maimed. Holarichus, that's the whole arichus. Contrasting this Avaidu with Avaidu Rosh Hashanah. The uh, contrasting with the Matan Torah, right? Where you would have thought, why would you think the Matan Torah would be a greater Achdos? Yeah, Hashem descended and revealed his presence in contrast to Rosh Hashanah, which is oh. it's our Avid. Rosh Hashanah, we are coronating God as king, and surely that's highly individualistic. And there, Davka, the should be Chilukim. But the answer, in, in brief, to the whole Maimir, the whole answer is a Hemshech to the previous Maimir, and that is the virtue of Shem over Ur. That, that's the general template that he's contrasting and explaining with with the greater and greater nuance and depth. <laughs> but Taira was a Gilui Oy, but but uh, Rosh Hashanah is the Avoid Dafkin Helem and Shem. And the paradox is that the Etzim is drawn Dafkin where Hashem is concealed in Koyach, in Shem, not in Oy. also linked back to the Ayyad name of Tair and Hatar. Yeah. Yeah, higher is when there's revelation, when you're led. Deeper is when it's through your avoid. It's linked to that. But he, yes, here we're getting the whole profound explanation by Dafke in the name, which is conceals the person, and likewise Koyach uh, is not traceable to the source. Obviously, one has to figure it out where it comes from. Yeah, Dafke there lies the deepest investment of the person or the Ebishter in the Nimshel, Dafke in his shame, and Dafke in the other, who is expressed in the way of Koyach, and that's what the whole of Edev Rosh Hashanah is. Malchus, which conceals, in the end, is the conveyor of the Etzim, which the other Swedes are not. Malchus is a word, shame. The king's relationship to the people is not an intimate one, extremely external. And yet, their connection be'etzim is much deeper than any other relationship of Mashpi and Makabal, teacher, even parent. Your parents don't own you. The king does. That's because you gave yourself to him. So the connection is immeasurably deeper. And this is the theme of all the Rosh Hashanah Memorial, to one degree or another, in one orphan or another. And there was the whole story of the Eliyahu Novi. We're not repeating it. The Eliyahu Novi, why I could... He's at every bris simultaneously, but uh, Ramnunas, Sova, and Rashbi he couldn't be in two places at once. The Pella is, this is a huge nuance here. This is even a greater paradox. That when the Etzim is revealed, 
it's it's contained there. In this goof. In this goof dafk. And yeah, and these and these stories he used to come with his goof. He had to say from the Nosova Bigashmias and Trashbi, the Khvoida, he came with his goof to teach. The Megala said this at Novi. And if it's if he's coming in the goof and that draws on the etzem, it's only one place. That the pella. The etzem is completely boundless, and yet where it's expressed, it's totally there, not somewhere else. Which which sort of you know, beer, but that's words of the Maimer. In the goof. Then the tzutzitz of the neshama can be in many places at once. His Torah can be, or your novice Torah can be learned by many people simultaneously, and he's invested in his Torah. And they're all learning it in different places, on different levels. But it's not his etzim, it's his Torah. His Torah, the etzim of Eliyahu Novi, that is in a one place only in a Guv Gashmi, which was the case here with Rashbi and so on. So the second second paragraph I say we were up to. The Yaf Apishigam Bhinasa Nim Shahatsmals, but as we explained in the Rosh Hashanah Maimer. This was a whole adichus. Friends, you on your phone or what this thing? Huh? Yeah. Definitely listening. Yeah, okay. I can't do two things wrong. Sorry. I'm not a woman. Uh, guys, Bakhlal cannot do two things at once. Women can. A him. So there's a whole adichus, friends. One of the most profoundest, uh, profoundest uh, uh chapters, uh, paragraphs. That the more uh, that even though oil, by definition, only reveals more and not etzim. Nonetheless, it is the Abish's decision, and we explained this. We tried to that. The Ur does convey the etzim. Not the shad in Yonam Shabbatsmos, but remember there was a whole, we spent a few days on this. At any rate, so the Ur does convey atzmos. Well, we're drawing this distinction now that it does not. She addresses this now. As we explained, that God's revelation, friends, let's just put it in the language for a McGill student again. See, the thing was that McGill students, he remembers everything we said. He's wondering why I have to keep on repeating it here. Okay, so we're going to tell him it's for our benefit. He's just missing that first year again. So it means that oil, which by nature would reveal creator and not more, that's what oil would reveal. Moir would reveal creator because Moir means creator. It's illuminating something else. But the fact is that they wished allowed for by his choice, because this is his kavan of Dirabatahtoinim, that he should not only be known as creator, that we should also know and be aware that he's beyond creator. So Oir carries the Atmos. And that's the Ramus, that's the Snasus, that's the Ramus Atmos. Stam Malchus is creator, but the 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 Isnasus Atzmi is not is beyond creator, and that is conveyed. And we're talking about it. That's revealed in the Oy. That's no. That's known. So what are we saying now? Is asking a shaila. The Dafka the Shem reveals that, and no, oh, it also reveals that. The David is beyond creator. We know that too. It's noble. It's been revealed to us. It is accessible. 
like we explained in the Rosh Hashanah Maimon. Sha'ir will lay rak me now more that the oil is not only reveals the moir, and by logic it could not reveal anything beyond the moir. And moir means against creator, a source of light to illuminate that which is outside. But we said no. Elegam in calling them Shabbat's most oil, Hashem has revealed and made known his essential being beyond moir. And we explained then that Ois, Kutmuchach Muzef from Tanya Shali, Yisrael Meinam Moy Yesh Boigam, Koyach Lahavis Yesh Ma'ain Veves Amuchlet. The Hashem creates out of nothing. It's through this whole process. It's through Malchus, but through this whole process of His divine revelation. Now to create out of nothing, Moir cannot do that. We explained why. Oir per se cannot create Yesh Ma'ain. Can create something that you don't have. Ur can only create that which, like Ur itself, feels its source. So Ur could create and give rise to an entity that reveals its source naturally, like Ur. And yet, Malchos, that it, it creates Yeshma Ayin, that's because invested in the Ur is Koychatzmos. Remember all of this, guys. But to create out of nothing, revelation cannot do that. It's a contradiction. Revelation can only create that which would feel its source. Because that's what air is. So it can produce that on a lower level, but still it's going to uh, 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 carry its properties, which is I come from somewhere and I feel that. I, I, to create something which doesn't feel, it comes from anywhere. It's Mitzi Musoi. I am that I am. That's only Mkeich Atzmus, which is the true I am that I am. And yet it's conveyed in the oil. El Mkeich Atzmus Dafke. It's only Atzmus that can create. He says first, He is Abishta. He is because he is. His, his, his being is from his being. The is not a consequence of any cause that God forbid precedes him. He's quoting from Tanya. Only he alone, Atzimus, can create that. Something from absolute nothing. No oil. Not a oil, not a traceable source at all. And it's only he from directly Atmos that creates this yesh, which actually carries his property, which is why the way yesh walks around thinking, I am that I am, because he comes from I am that I am. As the yesh feels, the yesh feels doesn't feel any source. Right? As René Descartes said, I think, therefore I am, that's the end of it. So Lachair is a shaila that even the oil conveys the 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 presence of Atzmusi is Borech, because he creates the oil through Malchus Datzilus. Im Ken concluding his question, given she yesh ber gam koycha yisabesh mitzad Atzmus and nimtza she gam ba oil nimshech Atzmus. So why are we insisting that Atzmus is only drawn in Shem and in Koyach with his helm? No. Atmos is drawn even in oil because the Isabos comes, me oil is barach. So it's not just more The creator dimension of the divine, the moir, cannot create an entity that completely does not feel its source, not possible. But feel its source. Here it does because it's because of creation, yesh mayan. We explained this to, the, to my mother, with my mother, my girl. It's called the tzir of creation and the metzias of creation. The tzir is oil and points to designer, but the metzias doesn't. Tzir points to nothing. I am that I am. And that we know that it comes from Atzimus is because he revealed that. Let, let it be known. That's carried in his oil, his revelation. He stalsh Malchut is the creator. 
So why are we saying it's only in the Avayid of Shem? Why is this, why are we saying that only where God is concealed that draws on the on the essence where He's revealed to? His divine revelation carries this this koyach atzmi the kriyat yeshmai. Even though it's fundamentally illogical and impossible, but this is the choice of atzmi that the oyer should carry the koyach atzmi beyond moir. That's it. So what's the matter of Shem and Helam and Koyach? No, the classic answer. Koyach Atz Meshav Boiru Behem. Talk to the present, but not revealed at all. The Hainu Shirakin in Hamoy Baba Gilibur. What's revealed in Oir is only God as creator, the divine designer. Avling in the Atz Meshav Boiru Behem. Taki creates through this divine revelation. But this creative power that draws on Atzimus to create something out of nothing, it does, but completely lost on creation. And therefore, and therefore, the other way it has to be Dafka and the other way of Shem, the, the divine name of concealment, which is the whole other way of Rosh Hashanah, the whole other way of coronating God as king. From what? From entities that are separate from the king. That's the Avayid of Shem. The name which conceals Dafkin, this Avayid, shall the Hashem Nimshecha Etzem be Giloy Dafkin. It's through Avayid, it's it, it simply that's the word. That Taka Atzmos is present and, that, and, and, and conveyed in the creative process, which is all about divine revelation. Oh, but it's Behelim. And what reveals Atzmos is no meditation and it's not traceable. It's going to be through Avayid only, and that's where it's concealed. Yeah. We see this. We see that when a, that when a person faints and you call whatever, you call him by his name, he turns with this whole that. If you engage him on an idol level, engage him on an intellectual level, engage him on an emotional level, you engage him on an establishment level, he doesn't turn with this whole that. Sir. You're sitting here, hopefully, with your minds. That's it. But you're not. Your etzem is hell. This is an intellectual process right now. When you call a person and there's nothing, there's, what, what, nothing. You just say his name. And he turns like that. He does that. That moment that he turns, he turns back to Musa. That's because you did not engage him on any intellectual oil level, emotional level. You don't see it tell you what when you call a person. What? The next second will be it's here. What do you want then? Then you get down to how you're going to engage the person. But the moment of the nifness b'cholat z'mosoy and dafke what God his etzem is no other relationship. Just your name. And the helem, that's where you turn with everything. Like, with everything. And that moment of connection. Is that clear somewhat? You're not saying anything we didn't say before. Because the name is the person's name, the Abish's name, but can be, can be the concealed there. And because it's concealed, and there's no urge, that summons that. Yeah, it's not just the name. It's the whole that. The paradox, when there's no revelation, no properties, no qualities to, be, to describe, so then, then, what, then what's left? That's, that's it. Beyond all of these things. Again, because again, is it blinded by the light? The greater the light, the more the etzim is obscured. <coughs> or to the ish poshet, there's no mindless. He reveals that etzim and hashem. Dafka, because there's no mindless. I gave an example for it once. It's not... It's a flawed example, but a little bit of a, an insight. So imagine, you guys didn't hear it, so it's been the first time for you. So Einstein was giving, for the first time sharing with the world, this theory of E equals MC squared. Again, they say few people in the world understand, maybe no one understands it. But I can't find him. We huh? We know. No, yeah. So, so we're, we're perfect with emotion. So sitting in that lecture hall, are the world's most eminent physicists, and you and me. And we've never seen Einstein before. 
I've never seen no picture of it. So sitting in the hall, it's dark, like Ozon, Einstein starts speaking. The, the, the chalk blackboard. Now the imminent physicists, by the way, for them too, there's a caveat, very important, Hakdoma uh, that they're going to require. And that is, if they come into the lecture, I understand physics, I'm going to get a tweak. They won't get it, what he's saying. They have to come in completely letting go of every conception they had of physics and the nature of reality. Matzah, beetle, the only way to makabal a new revelation. If you come in, I know, you don't get, you're, not, you're not going to get it. To learn everything, Bambus. Every mind must be learned like a child. Anything you know, it's later after you learned it, the associations. You don't bring it to bear. They're there, behelem. But you don't bring it to bear while you're learning. It's new words, it's new kasha, it's new deretz. And it really is, because every mind is a is a chadash. I say able to, all these people are able to remember. Because they come in blank. It's all new. And it is. A so they've got to come in with a beetle. Fine. Now he speaks, and then lecture is over, and dark. After, and you and I are there. We don't get a word. This is oh, this is this is what he's talking about. So what are we doing? We're looking at Einstein. <laughs> After the lecture, there's a lineup of people. Einstein's amongst them, and you're told, "Go give him a hug." The professors wouldn't know which one who's Einstein. They wouldn't know. They didn't see his nose it. Him. They, they heard his own. Oh, they, they couldn't even tell you what he looks like. You couldn't give him a hug, couldn't touch him. We, Dafka, because they understand what he said. Sure. Go over give Einstein a hug. You should call you. When you're going over to him, you're going over to him. Why? Dafka, because you got no oil, no giloy. So what was left? She to the, him. Okay, it's flawed in many ways, but it, it brings out the Nakuda that the oil Dafka obscures that. It's not so much the Nakuda here, here's much deeper. Here he's saying that Yeshma Ayin is only Bechek, only the only Atmos can create, only the I of God can, the I am, the I am of God can create, the I am, that I am of the Nivra. Oil will produce a Nivra that is. Lightful and delightful and feels its source, because that's what it is. It'll produce that of its of of self. Can't produce that which is not you. It only does because they be stood against all logic and nature invested in uh, that kriyav. That's kedusha atzimos, but moir cannot create yeshma. But the boy, by his decision, he wanted us to know not only is he created, it's the whole Nisava Kalish Baruchu, that we should know and be revealed that he's beyond created. But what's going to reveal that truth is Avaidah, and that's Shem, and that's Rosh Hashanah. But in Torah was not Avaidah. But in Torah was a Gilimul Maila, Chachmosis Baruch, Hola Riches, and what Chachma is, and that's a Nevishis Chachma, and then the two Dargas. That was the end of his Dalit. That was a Gilimul Maila. And therefore, the etzim wasn't this gala, and it doesn't pay the emissa achtus. Moshe mechitz with the etzim and arm and his own mechitz. Dafke da void rosh hashanah tamlichoni aleichem, which is in Shem, and is the whole overt connection. It's ba'elam. That's where the atzimitik connection begins. But that's wait, this is generic. Every rosh hashanah mime is saying that in one way or another. Ah. Uh, Something else, or the revealing the the koyach in that's in the earth that's already yeah yeah koyach in the in the world to me matter making what the this is the subject period of calling all of this and of everything. In endless expressions, in thousands by modem and Oasis, that a home, the pell of the home again is, you, like you want to know someone, <laughs> you want to know somebody, 
So you look at his writings, you look at uh, his his his, his, seichel, his his midas, and bricks and mortar. That's where again, that's that's where the, that's uh, in, yeah. But Dafka in his home, not in his book, not in his writings. Dafka in his home, that's where his etzim is found. And yet it's its walls and it, and, and deeper than his deepest poetry and writings and philosophy. Okay, it's a whole, this is a, to understand that, there's also a lot of this, but mm -hmm. that's the same that could. The dafke and the deer in a home, it's just what is a home? Yes. But that's where the person is there in his entire being. Everywhere else he is engaging it in a certain way, certain engagement. And business, and he's, he's engaging, he's in, negotiating. He's negotiating. You step out of your home, you're, you're a commuter, then you're a consumer, then you're whatever the things that you're doing. Where you mamish raw as you're in your home. In the private, that's the that's a mismugdir, he said, in the in the privacy, in the more private, the more if your home is made out of glass, it's not a home. It's dafka in the privacy and the borders and the defined borders. Walls and a roof and a door that's closed. Gichud locked. That's where the etzim. That, that's when that's when you're engaged and your etzim is expressed. The which is the most private room possible. Yeah, I mean the subject is the the subject of the Savakadis Baruch Lies Loy is Baruch Dere Betachtoin. That's the whole thing here. All right, so today's story. Fret not. Fret not. Has scholar can remember. I mean, it's in the long, but listen, they never said it to us. You know, it's not the. Uh... That was this. Uh, you see it in the mimer. When the Rebbe says a mimer, first bamuchas, you see that it's not simply a profound intellectual articulation of. Of uh, the nature of divinity and the philosophy. You know? Watching the Maimer, you see, there's a Yenatsumi. They invested in the Seichel, uh, the words, the Bodhas. It's not a Rosh Hashiva giving it, or Makubal giving it insight at Vatayud on Kabbalah. On Pnimi Satayud. She is the the gosh is invested as all adds him in it. And you see it's a, you see this is beyond the, the words here in the Seichel. Well, huh? Part, apparently where people wouldn't would even understand. It was just like it was standing. Well, he was, he was, if you were listening to this Maim Tafshah, you wouldn't stand yeah, that. No. Sure. <laughs> and then even not the Maim Tafshah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you could you see the gosh is how. This is Amshocha of the the Etzim of Alikus. This is not some Advatoira uh, here. Akashim Tateret. Sechus people understood like on the spot? Or... Depends who. Depends who. It might be Sechus, depends who. And what says we understand? Each one of the, the Sechus part is. The Sechus part is Moshe Mechitz with Nei Atzma. Everybody got it differently. But the Etzim is Nimshach, that's for everybody. Huh? You know, it, 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 we're just being there. Yeah, being there okay, yeah, but it was Kabbalah said with the Gishmak. I mean, you know, yeah. no one's twisting your arm. You want to be there. You want to see. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't understand it from an intellectual yeah. purpose. Yes, purpose. hundreds of people sat there for hours and hours, and uh, most of it didn't get, or well, a lot of it, you know, well, didn't even hear. And then when it got, if the brain has got bigger in the later years, if if not close, you just heard a word, a word, a word. 
Huh? That's it.